Pal World is an action-adventure survival game set in an open world populated with animal-like creatures known as pals. Player can battle and capture pals to use them for base building and combat. And in this video, I'll be playing 100 Days of Pal World. Join me in my journey as I venture to defeat the 5 sovereigns and catch all the legendary pals in the game. So let's begin. We spawned at Windswept Hill. I immediately went out to scout the area. And the very first thing I did, uh, make a crafting bench of course. And then I started whacking some rocks. Made some tools with the rocks, like a pickaxe and a axe. And I whacked more rocks for more materials. And since I had one ball on hand, I decided to catch one of the pals in this land, which would be the, the sheep. Since I already had only had one ball, I had one hand. And I got the sheep. I'm happy. But, well, since his friend was hostile against us and I don't really have any balls anymore, I had to end him. And oh, I get a level. I started whacking some trees since I needed more materials to make some buildings, like the PAL device. And yeah, I thought this area is a suitable spot for a base, I guess. So let's put it here for now. The PAL box. Also crafted a bunch of stuff like a chest to store my items since I've been gaining a lot of weight because of all these items. I need to store them. Remember the sheep I caught? Yes, I made him into a worker at base. He's gonna help us with making some pal spears and other stuff like building and look how happy he is thank you little guy look how cute he is as he helped me make this a fire camp or fire firewood fire campfire since he's such a good boy let's make him a bed this right here i'm gonna plan to make my house beside it i also made him a feeding box so he won't ever go hungry and that's the meat of uh, his fellow sheep by the way so yeah i need to gather more of these uh, materials the palladium fragments so i can make more of the pal spear so we can catch more since i had more balls on my hands i caught another lamb ball it was actually time to make a weapon upgrade so i have my lamb ball make me a bow while i cook some of his family members into kebab but oh well he'll, he'll eat some as well oh yeah one of the loots i got from those lambs were uh cloths and it was time to make clothing for ourselves and look we look pretty cool with our new clothes <laughs> an actual adventure now all right with a bow on hand it's actually time to catch these cats now all right let's try that again i think i needed to charge my bow well, actually, yeah, I don't. I didn't have any arrows. I forgot to craft. While I was minding my own business, well, Syndicate Patrol decided to raid us. And yeah, with my bow in hand, they couldn't do anything. I don't think they even know how to climb. They're just standing there. <laughs> this guy, though. <laughs> what is he doing? And this last guy is probably devastated that his teammates are gone. So, free whacking. Okay, round two with our bow fiasco. And yes, finally. I'm better at it. Oops. <laughs> I found a very cute penguin here. And yeah, I want you in my team. Come here. Nice. Wow, there are massive elephants here. And I guess I should stay away from it for now. They're kind of high leveled. I think 38. The Mamoras. Alright, I'll get you when I'm stronger. Hey, look, it's Vo. I mean, Fox Parks. We're, we're taking this. Oh, yeah, go my sheep. I believe in you. Oh my god. Yeah, ro roll him down. Roll him down. Oh, wait. No. Ooh, a deer. Maybe we can mount this. Oh, okay. Go sheep. I believe. Oh, nice. Roll attack. Roll attack. Okay, he's he's not doing that much damage, really. But we got this, yeah? With an axe on hand. <laughs> with our sheep rolling to its face. We, we, got, we got this, yeah? He, he's in danger, but not that in danger. We're pretty fine. 
Okay, I can catch this soon enough. Oh. Okay, okay. Don't kill it. Don't kill Okay, that's good enough. Oh my god, that hurts. Oh, please be God. Alright. Oh yeah, baby. Unlock travel point. Let's go. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh... You offer them to the statue power to improve your ability to capture pals. The lift monk effigy. Cool. I swear, these little fluffy dog-like things look very, very familiar. Oh yeah, more. Let's go. Let's capture one of the... Oh my god. Let's capture one of the Eve... I mean, cream... Eevee looking things into uh, and uh, boar, yeah. Let's capture both of them. We'll need them as our new pot. Oh my god, my sheep became too strong. It killed it. Dang. Yeah, let's capture this boar. I need this. It's actually time to make a house, and I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not really an engineer or something. But I think I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, yeah, okay. Better now. And let's craft a bed. I made more beds for my growing pal family. Made a berry farm so they will never go hungry. Need to find a pal that does planting and watering. Because this thing is hard work. I also made a logging site, so I will have unlimited source of wood and a mining site. I mean, a mining site for unlimited source of stone. Yeah, we got that going for us. And just when I was about to sleep, Tokotoko Implode Unit decided to raid the base. And my pals were actually sound asleep, and I didn't have any alarm bells for now. So I'm gonna have to take care of this myself, along with my boar. We got this. I honestly wanted to catch this Tokotoko as I never had a pal like this. But the moment it entered the village, all my pals just like spit all their rage attacks on this guy. And now like, we can't. It's already dead. I hope this one will learn its lesson from this other one. But instead, instead of actually attacking me, it decided to just go inside town and well... You'll, you'll, you know, you know what's gonna happen next. In about three, two, goodbye. The very next day, I decided to challenge this uh, Dino Blossom, and well, as you can see, <laughs> it's not going well, Chief. So I tried using a spear ball to prevent myself from dying, but I fainted, yeah. I found this bird pal and I really wanted a pal that I could ride to fly so this was a very good opportunity so now that it's near its death it's time to capture it and we got it we got it we got it nice what up what up After hunting and level up for a while, I managed to make a saddle for the deer or the Ike thigh deer. And it was pretty neat. It actually could travel fast and its charge managed to like push up very far. It's a very convenient way to travel. And next day, I discovered I can craft something called a meat cleaver. I already had an idea what would happen with this. So yeah, let me just show you a brief moment of what happened. Alright, so finally made myself the saddle for the Nightwing. And look, we're flying. This is amazing. I swear, this is one of the best pals. Not really one of the best, but currently the best early pals you can get. So you can go to random places because your pal can fly and you can reach random heights as its wings can take you. Very convenient. During my adventures, I found two eggs, but since I didn't really have any incubator at the moment, I just stored them in a chest. I found a settlement that had a cage pal. 
it was a settlement from the syndicate syndicates so i had to take care of them and save this poor animal i tried catching one 11 percent but i couldn't catch one of the syndicates so yeah they had guns but it didn't hurt as much i'm not sure why it's guns after all so yeah i freed this animal and he beca he voluntarily became one of my friends or pals but i never really use it its perks didn't really you know it didn't appeal to me while on my adventure to getting random pals i discovered this a cave so i went inside to investigate what was inside there seemed to be a lot of ores and sulfur and a lot of syndicates as well so currently my damage is not really outstanding so all all i ha i really depend here is my pal look look how strong it is I just pass through it so yeah Things were pretty chaotic here because both syndicates and pals are fighting each other. So I took this opportunity to take care of some of the pals and even caught two of them, two of the fuddlers. While I also took care of the syndicates for their loots. Win win. Treasure awaits me inside the dungeon and it gave me some bread so i went exploring and found this tower it seems it was the rain syndicate tower i was pretty curious but i left it out for now and just activated the teleport crystal i evaded yet again another syndicate camp and got myself an ice porcupine as a new pal who am i kidding i was very curious so i went inside the tower Honestly, I was too weak right now to actually fight these guys. Look, he had like 30k HP and I did like 80 damage. What can I do? That was even a crit. I hit the person and it crit with 80 and 78, but I'm barely doing anything. So yeah, let's take care of this some other time. But it's not like I did put up a fight though. <laughs> I, I took her down to like 25k HP. But yeah, uh, like I said, I, I was no mad for this, no matter what I try. I, I tried kiting it, but I just couldn't. Determined to get stronger, I needed to mine some materials like this ore right here. I made myself a new armor called the pelt armor. It was made from some leathers I found on my journeys. And look, we look a bit nicer now. I found a settlement and the, ver the very first thing I thought was this was a syndicate but it was actually a police officer. I didn't know those existed till now. So I, I mistakenly took him out and now I'm a wanted person. I've been charged with assault. Oh no. So wherever I actually go, they would follow me. I'm, I'm surrounded by police officers. I even teleported to go away or to get away but they still followed me oh my god so I, i'm not sure what i need to do i think i just need to be caught or knocked out so i can have my peaceful life again <laughs> they were pretty strong so i couldn't really fight them off so i had no choice i had a little upgrade to a crossbow and look a raid is coming Find time to test my crossbow out it did a pretty good damage or decent even but my base looks so um chaotic so i'm not sure what's happening here but don't worry there's a straggler to test out our crossbow and look it did 400 damage on a headshot it takes three shots <laughs> so, what? so i went back to that settlement i made a mistake and 
yeah, they don't seem familiar to me. So yeah, I just made my way on talking to this merchant uh, who sells and buys pals. So I decided I'd buy this goblin since I never have. I mean, I don't have one. And I sold a bunch of pals as well that I didn't need, like the chicken. I did more exploring and I saw this very familiar duck called Flack. <laughs> and I immediately tried catching it. Alive, of course. Wait, wait. Yo! Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Alright, we caught him. We got him. We got him. Yes, for sure. Oh, who is this? It's... Who crates? <laughs> Got you. I made some hot springs for my pals to enjoy on their time off work. While roaming around the map, I discovered a boss called the Dancer on the Plane, which was a chillet. Well, my Nightwing was level 18, it was level 11. I was pretty strong at this moment. I mean, my Nightwing was. But it still posed a ch never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say but it posed a challenge. I'll call back Nightwing. He might mistakenly kill it. I want I wanted to catch it. So let's go. We have a 25 chance of catching this thing. And well, we have an unlimited amount of tries. 33 times more, I mean. So it was not a problem. I I eventually tire it down and caught it. Since I finally had a technology point after beating Chillette, I was able to get the skill for the egg incubator and incubated the large verdant egg. While waiting for the egg to hatch, I went to explore spotting the king paka. It was a giant alpaca. So I initiated the fight and since I was level 20 or my nightwing was level 20, I believe I could take care of this. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I just kept kiting it with my crossbow. And having my pals hit damage it as well. Also, the syndicate was... <laughs> dead. <laughs> so yeah, we keep attacking the King Paka. Wearing it down. Until eventually it was low enough to try catching it. But not that low. So I guess I need to hurt it more. A good thing we have the deer trying to kite down its HP. I better make sure to check its HP before I keep going at it or it might die. Okay, okay. This should be enough. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, this is. Alright, this is enough. Let's catch it. It's the same person, I believe. Oh my god. Okay, with 11 HP left, I should be able to catch it now. It is increased by one person. Alright, let's keep trying until I catch this guy. Oh. Yes! Let's go. I never knew Mega Shield was a thing, or Shield was a thing in this game, so I made myself one. Now I have an extra armor. And the egg finally finished incubating, and let's see what's in here. A dino bosom. I mean, a dinosaur. Hmm. Not amazed. Running around an area, I discovered a church. A desolate church. So, yeah. I activated the fast travel statue, took this item here. It's basically the journals of a castaway. And went inside to find a treasure chest and an effigy statue. I went around collecting some effigies with my Nightwing to increase, his, to increase the chance of me catching pals. Basically, if you can collect enough effigy and worship it to a look are you looking statue, you would increase your chances of catching a pal, which is what I'm doing right now, getting these effigies. I found an abandoned mine shaft while exploring. I was very curious what's inside here, so I went in. Oh, I thought there was gonna be- what the hell is this? What? 
I've stumbled upon an area where I'm not sure maybe execution has been done here. Oh my god, it's crazy. I trade in any kind of pile where there is stolen or prohibited ones. <clears throat> oh my god, these are expensive. I raided another settlement. It had this pink little pile, so I was very interested in looking it up and what it was. So yeah, I defeated all of the enemies here and emerged victorious, saving the pal in distress. I eventually stumbled in an area where these cow pals were at. And they look really cute. Their face looks like it's Snorlax. Oh wait, that's why it was so familiar. <laughs> It's so big around, and yeah, let's catch it. Maybe we can give us some milk. I also fought these new birds. Uh, it's they're uh, van worms, a uh, fire type flying birds. They look like they are faster than light wings. I decided to catch one. I was gonna make it my new mount for sure if it was faster. Look at our King Paka go. He's he's just too slow and too big, but he's. Look, he's tanking for us. King Slam! Oh my god, it killed the Nightwing! I mean, Bandworm. Oh lord, I think Baka's too strong. Alright, coming home. Two of my eggs are finished incubating. Let's see what's inside. First, we have a Dazzy. I'm not sure what it is, but it's lightning type. And then we have a Arsox. It looks like Entei or something. Uh, we'll see. This is our socks helping us with our furnace. Is spraying fire inside of it. I didn't really use Dazzy as I didn't have anything that needs electricity. I encountered a very chaotic battle between syndicates and pals. So I joined in in the air. I caught some of the pals that were weak. I would, uh, I'm would gonna help them in the base for sure. Uh, let them heal, then ask it to help us. Not like a lizard and a demon looking pal. So that's pretty neat. Also, I had this large damp egg I incubated, and inside was a penking. <laughs> the king of the penguins. It looks like a giant king penguin. And while exploring, I found this sealed realm of the sword ma master. I took a look inside, and there laid or was waiting Bushi, a samurai, a sword samurai, and he was very strong. Honestly, I did almost no damage, and he dealt like massive damage to me. I tried my very best, but it was just too strong, and I ended up in my demise with his wind blade or ice blade. I didn't want to end things like that, so I made myself a metal armor in hopes that I would get tankier for the fight. Not just the armor, but I also crafted myself a musket. It was pretty strong, dealing like 800 damage a shot on these cows, but yeah, this, these cars are a really hard catch. Round 2 with Bushi. Now with a musket on hand. And I have this uh, monkey with an AK. I, I gave him a harness so he can have an AK. He's doing pretty decent 16 damage at least. Uh, I, I that, That's very good I guess. So now I chose my Chillette. See if he can do anything with- Oh my god that EI slash is scary. So yeah, with our new and improved gear, it made an easy job for this Bushi to fight. And our monkey is dealing pretty decent damage. It was time to catch this with our new spear, the Giga Spear. And oh my god, it was, it was, that was close though. That was close though. Alright, this time for sure. 60% chance, 80% chance, and we got it. The Van Worm was already proving itself very useful. It flew very fast compared to the Nightwing, and I can spew like Fire, Ignis Blast, and other attack. Creating another settlement to get this captured pals. It went pretty smoothly with our way Van Worm, I mean. But yeah, this guy with a flamethrower is scary. And oh my god, these guys are scary. Okay, but we, we can do this. Right, since my Van Worm was in trouble, let's bring out the King Paka. Let's see his King Slam kill everything. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. We have our musket. We can one-shot them headshot. Alright, rescue this little bunny. 
I eventually had enough material to crafting to crafting myself a handgun. So this was a neat upgrade. All right, damage test. The little cats running around. Boom. Seven hundred forty-nine. Uh, pretty decent. While I was minding my own business, fangirls who can't contain their love was raiding the base. That's crazy. Well, with our handgun, we're doing decent damage, but they're kinda strong actually. Yeah, these guys are actually strong. But don't worry too much. Our pals are also strong. All these fangirls are already dying to the bullets and the fans. Especially Bushi, he was very strong. Like, we can catch one of them. I decided to move my base to a more spacious area. So it was gonna be a lot of work moving items and crafting new gears again. But with all our new pals joining, it's not gonna be that hard. I made sure these guys are happy with their new home. <laughs> Just bathing in the hot spring. So yeah, I also had this large egg and it contained beacon. Beacon was a lightning bird way faster than both the van worm and the nightwing so he was gonna be my replacement for both of them after i make the saddle i crafted this very large container it could actually house a lot of items inside like maybe around hmm, estimate 30 plus and a cute sheep symbol the new base is now looking pretty good most of our items are already transferred so yeah i went exploring in a jungle area and i found a cave so i thought why not so i went inside this was my first encounters with uh, daydream so yeah i caught some i mean the two of them because i wanted some on my base my handgun is very neat the damage is not that great but the amount of ammunition inside a magazine is already way better than the crossbow who can only shoot once every i don't know two seconds or three seconds but yeah the problem is the ammunition itself it's pretty hard to craft the requirements are pretty high so i went exploring in the jungle again and i found this huge dragon egg i was very hopeful to get that jet dragon that was on the trailer Ooh, seal sealed realm of the thunder dragon so let's fight this guy. Oh my god, it's a cute dragon with a lightning mohawk. The Re Relaxaurus Lux. Right, I think we can handle this. The damage of our Nightwing is like pretty high and our musket damage is 127. Yeah, definitely we can deal with this level 31 dragon. Our Nightwing is also level 32, so I don't see any problems with this fight. Oh, wow, dark flamethrower or something. So yeah, he's almost defeated. Just a few more shots and I'm gonna try catching him with our Giga Spear. This musket reloading is so bad. It takes so long. I keep getting no ammo at all, but you know what? Distraction. Oh. Oh, we caught him. Nice. That dragon earlier was a, a variant. This was its uh, water counterpart, which we can easily deal with and capture. I'm not sure what the deal with these two was, but they were fighting each other and that was good for us. Now we can try capturing them. So yeah, while I was on the sky, I tried dealing some damage from above and well, I tried catching one, but it died. <laughs> it seems it was fighting these syndicates and maybe uh, one of their attacks crossfired and wait. How did this guy die? I think my Night Queen killed it by mistake. Oh no. I decided to cross the other island and it seems like a place that had a beach and a desert. And also some dragon bones. And things were looking interesting until I discovered that the monsters here were pretty high leveled and I actually want to catch one of these. So, oh my god that hurts. Oh yeah. Um. I, I shouldn't be here yet. I need a better gun. An assault rifle would be decent. And oh my god, what is this percent chance? Well, I managed to catch it. He's gonna be our new horse. 
Another raid was happening in the base and well we easily took care of it. The, the pals at base were already very strong so these guys weren't a problem at all. I had a bunch of eggs lying about trying uh, ready to be incubated so I opened up one by one. I got a Reluxaurus. Not really a mm -hmm, not really happy with this but it's a pal nonetheless. We also have a Leesbonk and from the large electric egg we got a Rayhound. And for the scorching, a Fox Sparks. Trying out my new mount, immediately I already like the beacon. It already flies so fast. It's like freaking Zapdos. You can summon lightning and even, um, yeah, summon lightning, a wave of lightning. It also has a shock wave. It's pretty cool and kind of fast. Faster than my previous flying mount. And then we have Pyron. He was the fire horse we caught in the volcano area. And yes, he's very fast. He can charge. Dang. And he also has a flame arrow. And lastly, a spirit fire that shoots like a shotgun fire blast or something. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my new mounts. My new mount uh, was gonna try fighting this Mamoras, but its stomp was crazy, so I, I had to run. Good thing we're fast. But it didn't actually stop me from kiting this thing to death. I'm just gonna shoot from afar and then <laughs> run when it's close. That's the plan here. It'll eventually wear out and die. It's a good plan, right? I can reload while I move because of my ride and he can shoot up fireballs when his cooldowns are up. All right, with my new pets, I mean pals, I'm gonna try challenging the syndicate again. Oh, if you notice, I have two companions with me as well. Uh, this is the night, the daydream, and I forgot the name of the lightning one. But yeah, uh, basically, they as long as they're on your team, they will follow up an attack from you and also hurl their attacks to the enemy. It's pretty OP. You can actually stack them if you want. You can have like the total four extra space for them alone, and uh, you'll have the uh, four extra companions, five in total with your main one. So yeah. Uh, on this fight, it's fairly obvious that I'm actually doing damage now compared to before. We can actually take care of this now. Look, our beacon, even if it's lightning versus lightning, is dealing pretty decent damage now. So I just wanted to try fighting it from above. So I'm riding Deacon right now. It's only fair that I ride my pal as she rides her pal as well. And oh my god, that lightning bolt. It's pretty strong. But yeah, it, my deacon's tanky. It just looks strong, but it's actually not dealing damage. And we have eliminated the boss. And we got five ancient technology points from it. Nice. <laughs> they just do a T-post. So while exploring, I found another sealed realm. It's a sealed realm of the frozen wings. And upon entering it, the seeking spawn. I mean, the pen king. And well, we're pretty high leveled now and it's a water type and our pal or the beacon is lightning. It was fairly easy to defeat and capture. We got another pen king. I went to Marsh Island to go to the sealed realm of the invincible and fought Catrus. And yeah, we're still overpowered. <laughs> they, they're just too lowered leveled right now compared to us. So these monsters in these realms are not a problem at all. I also fought a giant cat Grintail that was nearby. I tried farting it airborne as it was an interesting concept but it's actually really hard to control <laughs> the bird in the air. While flying around I saw a really large sea creature the emperor of the sea. German tide. So I tried seeing how much damage I could make and yeah let's run away. After flying for a while, I managed to reach the desiccated desert. So one thing I need to do here is find the waypoint so I can come back anytime. I was dying from the heat, but good thing we found the waypoint. So we can just, you know, come back here if ever something happened. And there was a new flying monster there. It's called a Suzaku. That church I found at the top of the hill. 
I made my second base there. I mean, I moved it there because there's a lot of irons here. Like a whole lot of irons here. This was gonna be a base for my iron farmers because we need a lot of iron in this game. Also refined iron. So this was a good move for me. So I laid down all my uh, farming pals and also some gathering pals to put them all on this chest. I will also need to make some furnaces here. Yeah, and so far so good. All my pals are already started working in this area. The monkeys are for some reason chopping trees, but yeah, that's one of their perks. And the penguins and the other pals who can use fire and who can mine are doing their job pretty well. Let's go. All right, I managed to came across this area called the Sealed Realm of the Winged Tyrant. So we're gonna get a dragon. Hopefully, as I entered, but it seems to be a cute white dragonite with hair. But yeah, it's pretty low level, which is good, so we can catch this fairly easy with our hyper spear. And yeah, just a couple of headshots should do the trick. But for some reason, Beacon's not doing anything. Sometimes this happens in this game where your pal just doesn't do anything. So you'll, all you need to do is just summon another one then. Because it for some reason doesn't register that it's an enemy. And I pirate is doing great. So a little bit more and we can catch this thing. Alright, our very first white dragonite. While flying about in the desert, I saw this monster, Anubis, fighting some syndicates down there. I was thinking uh, maybe I can fight this off as well but it looks very strong and threatening. Look it killed all the syndicates already. Oh my god look at that damage. Uh, let's try it out. Oh my god it's teleporting like dash sidestep sidestep. Oh. Oh. Treasure first though. Alright. Oh my god 600 on our beacon. Our, we can't do anything. I saw that damage. It was only 9. So I gotta leave. But well, I, I want one of these uh, dig toys on my mining base. So I'm just gonna stay here for a bit and catch this one. Oh my god. Alright. Got this in the bag with our nice number. I made a fancy new spear making machine. I think it's a solid production line. And with our Mohawk Rex Loris, I forgot his name, we have electricity to make these. And these spears will be our number one thing to catch those high leveled monsters. For the next couple of days, I just focus on building my base and my happiness for my pals in the base. I also made a lot of cement because I needed it for future projects. And I finally finished our Quivern or Dragonite mount. But it wasn't as impressive as I thought. So I didn't really use it that much. It didn't fly that fast as well. Beacon was more over overpowered in some ways. I don't know. Maybe the attack skill set? Or the level. Well, yeah. I, I never used Quivern. Somewhere along the river, I found a underground shoal mineshaft. Where inside, there was a pal... The Bronco, the Bronc Cherry Aqua. For some reason, I can't equip my musket. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's initiate this fight. Oh my god, that dealt so much damage. <laughs> She's shaking. It's a grass and water type. That's crazy. But yeah, we have our lightning bird. It should be fairly easy. Okay, let's help our bird fight by shooting its head. Wait, wait, wait. Would be really good if there was an auto attack for the pal so we can just focus on shooting the enemy. We're actually just tanking this thing. I mean, Beacon is tanking it. Oh my god, he died by mistake. No. 
While exploring the magma or volcano area, I saw a cave in Mount Obsidian. And yeah, curious, I went inside. And Jesus, the Lovander inside here are tanky as hell. Good thing our, um, our beacon was strong. He was a very good asset to the team, I swear. And yeah, oh my god. Why is it so tanky? Oh, no, it died. Inside the cave were also some lightning mo Mosandra Luxes. <laughs> they have lightning mohawks like the other dinosaur with a mohawk. And these guys are really persistent. They keep escaping our orb. I want some for my base. I need workers that has lightning attribute. And lastly, I, I found somewhat the boss of this dungeon. This is held up by a gate, but I think I just need to beat the boss, which is the, the fuddler. <laughs> Alright, so let's get right into beating this guy. It's not that hard. Oh, he's not really tanky. He's kind of soft. So yeah, let's just defeat him and uh, gain access to the treasure chest. What should what do we get? Uh manual point and some life pendant that increases our HP. That's pretty nice. Let's go. A new batch of huge eggs are ready. So we got a blaze howl knock. He looks pretty menacing and strong. We got Van Worm and a Lee Spunk. Now we take a look at our ingot farm and already we had a 46 ingot and another 68 coming up. This base is a wonderful. We don't need to mine it ourselves. Let the pals do it. And the rocks respawn on each day I think. I never really checked. I decided to check whatever was on this tower so I went inside and i think i picked the wrong enemy to fight he was the boss of these police force Ooh, money Marcus and Phalaris. Alright, so let's see if we can even tickle this thing. 59. <laughs> I, I think it's possible. Look, we, we can deal like 300 damage on our rifle. It's going pretty well. Well, until... Okay, so we needed to power up. I decided to fight more of these elite monsters. We have the Wind of Spring, Brown Cherry. We're gonna catch this plant monster. I mean, pal. Alright, we're pretty high level for this. 45 beacon. And it's already half health. Alright, so one more shot in the face probably. Then I can catch this. Okay, we got it. Uh, I also spotted another sealed realm of the exoteric. And inside was Lunaris. It's like a mage Pokemon. And yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'm level 45. I mean, my pet is level 45, but my equipment is probably around level 20. But still, our pal will take care of this. And we can just catch this without any problem. And what's my horse doing? Like, oh my god, I hope it doesn't die. Okay, it didn't die. Almost dead. Okay, that's enough. Let's call back our horse or we might kill it by mistake. This musket, I swear to god, reloading this thing is so annoying. Okay. You're mine! You're mine! Alright, let's go. 
While I was just trolling about, I found a univolt. So yeah, I thought why not, let's capture it. Look at me, stylishly shooting while in the air. Oh my god, Beacon, you're so strong. Oh my god, I missed! I'm so bad at this aiming. Nah, he just moves a lot. Boom. Right. So, immediately, it's almost dead. We got this. You're our new friend now. Ouch. Oh, this musket. I really need to have a weapon upgrade, an assault rifle, or maybe something that reloads faster than this. Oh yeah. Let's catch this guy. He's already low, near death. And my god, 20% is so bad. Alright. No! Okay, we have two more balls. If we can't catch this, I guess it's going to heaven for this guy. Okay, nice. Let's go. I also encountered this level 11 sweepa <laughs> for this small one. So I, since I'm already, oh my god, I did not mean to kill him. I was supposed to catch him. No, but okay. I went back to Mount Obsidian once more so I could uh, have a save point. This one here, a statue. I just need to interact with it. I finally crafted myself a heat resistant metal armor. Now we can go to the volcano without feeling the heat. As I was exploring the volcano area, I found the jet dragon or the jet dragon, <laughs> the legendary celestial dragon. He, that dragon is our biggest goal in this playthrough. I really want that jet dragon so we can find you can fly like a jet plane so I'm gonna try to see how much damage I can do to this guy okay 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 oh my god 11 and he has 11k I think we should run but I think we're already dead and my bird died and we're dead we're dead for sure oh my oh my heart's still alive but not for long we're, we're gonna oh no yes for sure uh, this was a mistake i shouldn't have shot him he is a legendary dragon after all so i guess and i can run this i can run this i can run away and yes i live let's go <laughs> Having no more bird to fly me around, I just explored the volcano for a bit. Getting eggs after eggs in hopes that we can hatch something good from all these eggs we're trying to collect. Our grappling hook is proving very useful right now, but the cooldown is very long. This is just the common tier. Alright, another batch of egg incubation. Haul from our last adventure. Let's see what we get. First... We got a Pyrene Knot. I guess it's a horse. And then we got a Ragnarok. A bird. A new bird. A Wixen. I think it's a fox. And a Van Worm. I immediately got working on the Ragnarok saddle. I wanted to see if it's faster than my beacon. A lift off. And yeah, it seems actually faster than Beacon. Dang, this is a good find. He has an air shot and a spirit fire. It's still level 13, but we can level this up. I found a large dark egg, so I incubated it and it was a Felbalt. He was gonna be one of our future teammates because Felbalt had an ability called Lifesteal where it makes you have a Lifesteal as long as he's fighting with you. I decided to go to Mount Obsidian to level up my Ragnarok by killing some of the pals here. There aren't that much of a problem since, well, Ragnarok is 34 now. And our rifle is pretty strong if as long as we hit its head. And I also leveled up some of my attack stats. Oh, and at this beach, I managed to find some coal. Needed to further improve our 
gears so i place down a pal station so i can teleport here again once i'm done mining these and went home after i was full in the backpack now we had the ability to make refined ingot and these ingots can make us better armor and an ak i mean an assault rifle i explored mount obsidian some more with my ragnarok i wanted to see what was on top and there seemed to be a tower and a teleport station here so this was a good find so yeah i'm just collecting some eggs to add some pals to my collections while exploring in mount obsidian i found this giant anobis statue with some devil fruit <laughs> joke uh, some skill fruit and also a very nice spot to mine coal there was like not just two like earlier i found but there was five of them and dang i'm gonna set up a teleport spot here actually six it is finally the day that we craft an assault rifle ha 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 the jet dragon's days are numbered well not really i'm gonna catch it so it's gonna be one of my pals as i was exploring toward a uh, unknown island i saw this very large tree and as i went forward towards it it feels like it's not even there it's so hard to go so maybe it's just a background but i'm not too sure so i decided to just go to the icy mountains instead it was honestly cold here and my hp is draining bit by bit but hopefully we can reach this uh, waypoint before we succumb to our cold death but yeah, we're we're gonna manage to reach this. Um, monsters here are pretty dang strong. They're under level 40s, and it's really hard to catch them. Uh, the spear balls actually depend on the levels of the monsters, and currently my spear ball, I really don't want to waste it. But look, look, look at the assault rifle in action. Already pretty strong, going strong. And okay, let's try catching this. Look at that. Oh, never mind. So yeah, there's so many strong looking monsters in here and I, I just can't, I don't think I can stick here for long, not until I have my cold resistant armor. And it's not really a priority right now, because right now my priority is the freaking jet dragon. Oh my lord, I'm almost dead. Okay, let's see if we can catch this thing. We have five balls left. Never mind. Oh, I succumbed to the cold. For the following days, I'm just gonna prepare my fight for the jet dragon. Because I really want that lovely dragon. I wanna, you know, just have a jet plane in this game. I thought today was the day. And I felt very cocky and confident that I could take this. Now with my assault rifle. But, yeah. I wanted to place a teleporter first. You know, the, one of those base things. So I disassembled my previous PAL box in order to put one here. But for some reason, the jet dragon was enraged at us without doing anything. I really tri tried my best to put this so I can teleport back to it if ever I want to have a rematch. But he killed my bird. And I, I had no way but just to try and run away as fast as I can. But oh my god, he also killed my horse and now I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm gonna have you in my team one day and the grind continues improving everything from armor to weapons and our pals also uh assault rifle bullets are very expensive so i decided to make a single shot rifle it's probably like the musket but stronger it deals about 110 damage in comparison to the assault rifle which was i think either 250 or 450 yeah, this was pretty strong, but and it reloads faster than the musket, I believe. Yep, de definitely way faster than the musket. We have an amazing weapon right now. I wanted to level up some more so my pals can level up as well. So I decided to visit some of the sealed realms. And here we have Pitalia. She was a plant monster. <laughs> oh my god. And my assault rifle is already dealing a massive damage and also our single shot rifle so yeah i am carrying a bow so we don't accidentally kill pals so i can still catch them 
And with our hyper spear, we recently crafted. Their chances are pretty big now. But still, it's very small against higher leveled monsters. And here's our really cute blue dragon. Dragon. Dragonfly. Elfidran. The gentle sky dragon. There's no gentle gentle here. But... Yeah, wow, wow, that actually looks very cool. It's a lightning tornado or something. But yeah, let's recall our... Okay, and let's catch this. You're one of our pals now. I got it. Yeah. Sealed Realm of the Stalwart. And here we have... Warsak. The giant beetle. I mean, the unyielding Colossus. Okay, I, I can penetrate his defenses with my rifle. Oh my god. What's a 15? Oh, it's a burning damage. I thought it was my rifle damage. Ooh. Okay, let's call back our <laughs> fall bat. Might kill it. Yeah. Right now, we're around 49, I believe. And we can easily kill most of the low-level tiered monsters. But not the high tiered. I still die very fast on them. And they're scary as heck. My mining base is yielding so much refined ingot right now. I'm pretty happy regarding this result. So, yeah, keep working my lovely Van Burns and miners. Oh yeah, since a sword was available, I, I crafted myself one. It looked very interesting. Alright, let's see this sword in action. Hi! Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see those numbers? 12k. You want a piece of this? What? Oh my god, 20k. Oh my god, 16k. I think my path in this game should be a swordsman. He's whacking enemies with my sword. Wait, what? They can't catch us. Chances 100%. Yeah, that's what they deserve for not being my pal. Oh, these guys are running away. That's so sad. They can't taste my blade. But it's okay. We're gonna go inside the sealed realm of the Swift. And Verdash is here. I swear to God. My eyes are not deceiving me. This is Cinder Ace. But grass type. <laughs> Wait, is, is it even Cinder Ace the name of that Pokemon? Yeah. This is Ver Sin Ver Verdash. Let's go. Okay, Verdash. You're gonna be one of my pals right now. Oh my god, with this sword. I'm in. I'm so strong. Also, I think I crafted an armor as well. I don't remember. Alright, as I head to the Frostbound Mountains, I notice a sealed realm. So I went in. The sealed realm of the Pristine. And the monster inside was Sibilix. Oh, it's one of those monsters I killed earlier. Just a normal one. But okay. Our war sack provides us with armor if we fight together. And... Heck yeah. It's, it's already dying. It's a level 40 monster. So I'm pretty sure once we're fully decked out and maxed out, we can get the jet dragon soon enough. And it's gonna be quite a challenge to catch level 40 and above monsters as they require more spears because the chances of capturing them is really high. So if I can't basically catch them, I don't want to waste my orbs, I mean spears. I'm just gonna kill it, I guess. Yeah, so I wasted about 5 spears. So I decided to just, yeah, end it. I found a tower in the frost mountain and also a save point just right there if you notice the red the orange spot so yeah this was gonna be a save point or a point of interest later on once we get our jet dragon for now i don't really want to think of fighting these tower masters not until we fully i mean we get the jet dragon it's my main goal right now sealed realm of the guardian and here resides Violet. I think it's a poison butterfly if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, it is a poison butterfly. So our warsack is an insect. It's probably immune to poison. I don't know. Just assuming. So 
Yeah, let's beat this up with our sword. <laughs> Alright, it's moving erratically. It's annoying. It's it, it's so hard to whack. Oh my god, my Warsec died? How? Ah. I guess it was strong. I was underestimating it. Maybe it got poisoned or something. Oh, Ragnarok, stop. Don't burn it to death. I wanna catch it. Cause why not? I'm running out of balls. I was reserving the balls for... Um... Jet Dragon, or... Let's, let me just call it a Jet Dragon. Jet Dragon suits it well than Jet Dragon. Oh my god, Ragnarok killed it. While exploring the snowy mountains, I encountered these genetic research executioners and they're very strong they're like lasering my pals to death very fast but worry not with our sword on hand I can lifesteal and hit, hit this guy all right we got them all nice but Ragnarok died I'm sad I gotta go home I reach a, a very curious tower. I thought there may be a boss on top of here. But as I went and looked around, it only had four treasure chests and a large or huge snow egg. Well, a good loot is a good loot. Alright, let's see what's inside this egg. And we have a king, I mean an ice king, Paka. A nice version of our king Paka. And it has the king of muscles perk it will increase our max carrying capacity dang that's pretty cute so i found this area full of irons the same as the church so i plan to set up my third base here because i needed more refined ingots or iron ores or ingots because i needed more bullets for my guns and also stuff needed to improve our gears and build more structures so yeah this was the plan here i needed some strong monsters to guard this place and i decided to put like a lot of my bulky monsters like the waverns uh elemental tortoises and the big mammoths i caught and never really put to use or had any job for them to do they can also mine so they're perfect here i feel like i'm not making this nice to see for my pals and for you guys as well i'm just laying down the bed for my workers here so i need to actually improve this in the future but for now as long as i have a bed to sleep on and the food to eat this was fine when i actually came to visit a lot of my pals died here because it seems like some syndicate raided this place and that was sad now i have to I have to put them back inside so they can heal up and work again. We really need some strong bodyguards as Mount Obsidian were full of really high level monsters and syndicate. So I need to put some strong pals and I think we just have the right bird, <laughs> Ragnarok, and some other pals. Back to actually preparing for the Jet Dragon fight, I made myself a heat resistant refined metal armor an improvement to our current metal armor only now we look shinier than ever <laughs> now we just need a refined metal helm and we have a full armor set already and there we have it our last piece to our full armor set the refined metal helm and let's see how we look oh pretty cool I decided instead of the level 50 legendary dragon, let's fight the Power World's version of Lucario, the Anubis. And yeah, my damage is pretty decent with our one-shot rifle and our Felbat is doing- Oh my lord, he broke all my armor. <laughs> but we got this for sure. But I, I honestly didn't want to waste some of my Paul Spears here. So I'm probably not gonna even try catching this guy. I, I mean, I'll try for a sh few shots, but... Oh my god. But not everything. Not everything. I'll just try. 3%, 4%. No, no fam. I really need the ultimate spear. So that's... I should craft some for Jet Dragon. Or just pray 
that would catch it at 5%. Uh, yes, I can see here it's burning. It's probably gonna die. And one more tick. Yep. Oh. Four more left. Are we gonna catch this? Or is it gonna die? Come on. No. Oh my god. I wasted one ball. Oh yeah, for sure. It's gonna die. Oh, it's all still alive. Well, I ran out of the balls. I'm sorry. So yeah, before I can actually fight the jet dragon, I'll need to make more of these ultimate spears. Making those metal or iron farming bases was a good call. Since I can finally make some ultra spears. It needed some uh, refined irons and also some carbon fibers, which is pretty hard to get. Also some cloth. I need to think about making a ranch for my sheeps. I decided to go out exploring while my pals made some ultra spears at base. So yeah, remember that uh, sea monster before? The German tide? I'm gonna try fighting this. If I can beat a level 45 German tide, then maybe a level 50 jet dragon should be easier. This was the emperor of the sea. And I'm not sure if I can fight it fairly okay while flying here. Or it might hyper beam us, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think we got this. Yeah, we're dealing some massive damage to this guy. Oh my god. Oh, is that ice breath? Oh, dark flames. Oh my god, our Ragnarok is dying. Half HP. Oh, it's 1 HP. Oh, it's dead. But hey, we got this guy to like 1 HP. Let's go. 18%. How many tries would I waste my ultra spear here? This is reserved for Jet Dragon. Just get inside the ball. Or face the consequence. Get inside the ball. Okay. Okay, nice. Alright, we got German Tide. The Emperor of the Sea. Alright, I've done all the preparation I can. And we're already level 50. And we'll see if we can beat this jet dragon where the heck is this guy oh all right i am prepared my assault rifle has so many bullets i can spam everything on its face and we'll see how this goes AT damage on his face. 117. Okay, so Ragnarok immediately is. Oh my god, Ragnarok's half HP. I need to return him and regenerate him. So let's use a German Tide on this fight. Oh my god, I'm burning. Alright, so far, so good. Let's just kite this while our pals fight it off. And yeah, this fight is gonna be very long. Cause you know, good thing we have uh, Petalia. She has a skill that recovers our health. The blessing of the flower spirit. So if ever we're in danger, we can always have Petalia heal us. We have our shield as well that regenerates as long as I don't get damage. I think it's a giga shield by now. Petalia is actually doing decent amount of damage. Just bit by bit, but still, it's damage nonetheless. And I don't know why on this footage I'm not using my AK. I don't think I don't think I have bullets or something. I'm pretty sure I prepared for bullets. All right, let's take out our Warsec. Warsec is good for adding defense on us. And right now, it's doing some decent damage as well. All right. And it's already half HP. Oh my god, why? Why, what is this jet dragon? It's so strong as heck. The fight is going faster now because we have an AK, I mean an assault rifle. And I only had a f actually a few bullets. I thought 100 would be enough, but... Oh my god. But we're dealing 
It was so much damage. 20 bullets at 30 each and 50 when it's headshot or around 40 plus. It's almost dead. We can catch this. We have 27 ultra spear on hand. So I gotta make sure it, I don't kill it or else I'm just gonna cry in a corner if I do kill it. I'm just gonna chip away some more and let's let's hope I, I get this. Oh my god, 7%. Alright, some more chipping. Alright. Go inside. No, wait. I should. Yeah. Go inside. Go inside. This be my. Oh. Yes. Go. One more. Yes! We got. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Yes, sir. We got the jet dragon. Ah. Oh. I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, boy, come to the team. Divine Dragon and a Legend. Increases the attack by 20% and Legend has 20% attack defense and also movement speed 15%. That's crazy. But now the problem is to make the harness. And the saddle is not really easy to make. You need 200 refined ingot. That's not a problem because we have a farm. But the, uh, the circuit board is the problem. You need pure quartz. And pure quartz is dropped by Jet Dragon. And five of them makes one circuit. So that means we need to kill this dragon multiple times. And these bosses spawn every hour or one in game day. But don't worry, I actually before the, in the beginning of the video, I didn't mention, but I actually Increase the pacing of the nighttime because I didn't want to play in the dark. So my nighttime in this game is very fast. And what is this dragon doing? He's just flying around. Oh, I think, yeah, his skill is gathering level 3. So I guess he's gathering some materials. Look at my cute little dragon. I mean big. So I made myself a cold resistant refined metal armor since I had enough materials anyways. Since I have no way to get the circuits which is needed to ride this dragon, I'm gonna stick with Ragnarok for now. It's very useful. In Mount Obsidian, there is a hidden shaft in this mountain. And inside this shaft is, I believe it was Blazamut, the cursed tyrant. So yeah, immediately I made use of my jet dragon and look at this. Look at that crispy damage and this jet, this wing attack of his, laser beams, and then another fireball blast. He actually drained Blazamut, a level 49 beast HP into like 25% left. So now I'm just gonna call him back so he won't accidentally kill this Blazamut. I'm gonna just whack it to death. And with lifesteal, I don't think I need to worry about anything. It actually took a few tries before I captured this guy. But hey, I got him. Let's go. Emperor of the Flames, you're gonna work as a miner now. <laughs> so I went inside one of these desert caves and here lies the scorpion pal, Menasting. Because he's menacing and he stings. I guess that's how they, they named it, I don't know. That was pretty witty. Menacing. Menacing. Alright, so it's fairly easy to beat. I'll just need to whack it with lifesteal on and don't worry about a single thing. I... It's pretty annoying he moves around like this. I, I just didn't, don't want to waste ammo. That's why I'm just whacking it with sword. I'm resorbing most of my ammo with jet dragon when he spawns again oh first try oh we got it nice i decided to try fighting this 
the police general again from this tower. See if we manage to win this time. Marcus and Phalaris. Let's go. Jet Dragon, go! Oh, dang. What is Jet Dragon doing? Sometimes I am very curious about what's happening inside its head. Because it, sometimes it just doesn't attack. And that's annoying. But hey, it's attacking now. It's dealing massive damage with its laser beams. Oh my god, look at that enemy's HP go from 145k to 133k. Jet Dragon is having this on the back. Not really, he's going random ways again. I don't know what it's up to. Maybe he, there's something like a collision bug in the game. But hey, yeah, you do you, Jet Dragon. As long as you try, you attack this guy when your cooldown is up. The fight lasted kinda long, but around 6 minutes, I guess. And it's almost dead. I, I, I kinda swapped pals since Jet Dragon's kinda, I don't know what's wrong with him. But yeah, I've been swapping pals after each attack. Then, yeah, we defeated the boss thanks to our team. Let's go. Jet Dragon was. Uh, Jet Dragon is very strong, but I'm not sure. Something's wrong with it. Maybe the AI issue or something? I found a city in the desert and I went inside to visit what they have in store. There were various merchants here selling goods, and this guy even has some fruits with him. And this guy, this guy is the most important merchant. Because this guy, he sells ammo. And that's what we need. We have 77k. And I can buy a lot of ammo. So we don't need to craft anymore. And looking at my inventory, I saw that I had items I could sell for money. And those were a lot of money. Now I can buy... A lot of ammo by selling these. So all I need to do is kill some elites and they will drop the materials that can be sold for money. And I can buy a lot of ammo. Alright, so the next tower I had in mind was this tower I found in an icy mountain. And uh, we're, we're gonna check and see how strong the palgenetic syndicate or enemies are. Gojo-san? Huh. Oh my God, Shadow Beak looks very cool. Is this guy from Nier Automata or is this Gojo Satoru? But no, it's Victor. Alright, I think we can handle this with our Jet Dragon. The ultimate Pokemon, I mean PAL. I keep mistaking it as, yeah, let's call it PAL. And look, Jet Dragon is actually not being dumb right now. He's actually attacking. Oh, okay, I get it. Jet Dragon does that whenever he already finishes all his attacks and is on cooldown. Because I guess he doesn't know what to do next. Because everything is on cooldown. And he attacks once again. Once the cooldown is off. Oh, I get it now. It's actually not broken. But since the pals only have like three moveset, it just doesn't understand what to do next. Oh my god, this dark beam is crazy. But yeah, this we can we got this fight. Maybe I should use my ache assault rifle. I have a lot of bullets, but nah. Oh my god, I'm frozen. Jet dragon. <laughs> it's just so weird looking at it, just erratically going left and right on the enemies without doing anything. The least he could do is just hide or something or maintain distance or even tank damage for us. But no, oh my god, it's half health already. My jet dragon. 
All right, we're down to like 20k HP left and we have two minutes left. I actually spent about eight minutes kiting this guy down and our jet dragon is dying. So let's call our other pals to deal with this. And yeah, I think we got this. Two minutes is enough time. He had 200k and we lowered him down to around 20k under eight minutes. So we should be fine. Oh my god, it burns. If ever we don't have enough time, I can always use my assault rifle. I had some bullets stored up for this. Oh my god, our Ragna! Oh, he's alive. Nice. And fell bad. Let's lifesteal this. We need the lifesteal. Oh my god. This, this thing is so strong. I want one of these. How do you get that? I want Shadow Beak as well. Oh. Alright, we're fine. Vitaly's already down to half health. That's crazy. A 2k left and it's dead. And we've done it. We have eliminated Gojo Satoru. I mean Victor. Let's go. And with this, only one tower remains unbeaten. I fought a jet dragon again to get the materials for the circuit boards, the pure quartz. And with our AK, it was very easy. And also our, our own jet dragon to fight its own kind. We were having a breeze killing this guy. I didn't even think of catching him because I didn't have re that much spear on hand. So I just defeated it. But well, I tried, but it never stop attacking us and I ran out of balls so goodbye one is enough oh <laughs> hey I don't know how many more times I need to kill this thing maybe six or eight ten so we can ride our own jet dragon all right I decided to fight the final and last tower that we need to defeat. Uh. Oh my god, that hero landing. So cool. It's Lily and Lily. Well, I should have actually started with them. They look pretty weak compared to the other two we started. The Chief Police and Gojo Satoru. And now... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're just dying very fast. But our Jet Dragon is doing its usual thing. It's, you know, I think it's mocking it in its face. It's going left and right, left and right. But yeah, let's deal with this and complete the task of defeating all the tower oh my god i missed defeating the tower masters and bam okay. oh my god i need to uh, upgrade oh my god <laughs> where is my aim <laughs> all right oh yeah i just noticed i think i made a new armor set i totally forgot mentioning about it but yeah i think this is the refined ice resistant armor set and the refined helmet because it looks cooler than the usual or I, I think i'm just blind but yeah we c defeated the final tower boss and thus we <laughs> what's happening oh my god all right so the re only remainder of this I mean, of this playthrough is catching the remaining pals and also getting the saddle for our jet dragon. Oh my god, I'm actually dumb. There was actually a fifth tower, Brothers of the Eternal Pyre or Pyre, Pyre, I don't know. So yeah, and this guy had a really cool pal. How do you call this thing? Pals? Palmon? Palpat? I think pals. Palmon sounds way better. But yeah, this is the final tower character we need to defeat. Dang, that looks so menacing. Ow. 
Axel and Orserk. Okay, I'm gonna summon my... Oh my god, 3k. <laughs> Alright, I have my Jet Dragon too. I can Roar too. Roar! Oh, yes. A Assault Rifle plus a Jet Dragon attacks. We're invincible. And the ultimate fire power tag team. Oh... My, oh my god, it hurts. It dealt like one fourth of my sh No, 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 no. One fifth of my shield. Oh, yeah. Because we discovered that merchant in the desert, and now we have actual unlimited ammo source, I ha feel no reserve of reserving my assault rifle ammo in terms of fighting harder bosses or tankier bosses. Oh, wow, that's cool. So yeah, um, basically I just need to hunt down some elites, sell their loops, and uh, buy some ammo with it. And it's pretty, pretty easy to kill these elites now that we're level 50. And yes, finally this time for sure, we finish all the tower masters. There was actually another dragon type inside, I mean in Mount Obsidian. It was inside one of these caves. So I went inside and immediately I was met with a hyper dark beam or some sort. That hurt man. And this was Astagon. And I'm gonna capture this dragon. Oh, 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 oh my god. I was gonna capture this dragon but... Oh, he also dropped some pure quartz. We can farm him alongside Jet Dragon to hasten our circuit board. But dang, I wanted to capture it. All right, next time then. So an uh, uncommon refined helmet schematic. That's pretty nice. I went to another cave in the desert and fought the Dinosum Lux. It was actually... What, what, what's a similar looking pal with this one? It was a lightning. Ah, there was a, the plant version, the dinosaur, I think. This is the lightning version of it. Alright, cool. And in the desert, I saw two horse looking pals, Palladius and Necromus. So we're gonna initiate the fight with showering them with bullets and oh my goodness there's they're tanky as hell but good thing we have an ak with i think i have about 1500 bullets i don't know i bought a lot but yeah <laughs> we're, we're gonna just shower them with bullets until they die it's an actually very hard fight they're having two level 50 knights attack me with their very strong attacks they're crazy so jet dragon is almost dead so, oh lord oh my god they're very dangerous i need to take distance while fighting this i have my ragnar rock ragnar hawk is already dead and my felbat is almost dead what the heck okay we still have our plant pal and she died in one shot when he dashed that's crazy Good thing we still, have, we still have our Suzaku with us. So I don't think I'm gonna summon any pals since they're just gonna die. For now, I'm just gonna shower this guy with bullet until it dies. We're actually down to only 947 bullets. I was mistaken with having 1,500 bullets. It's probably around 110 or 1,020, I mean. So yeah, okay, let's go. I'm gonna summon my pal if it be, I feel like it's safe. I'm gonna call them back each time. We're trying to get close. Our jet dragon has regenerated a bit of health now so he can fight back with us. And oh my god, these guys are very annoying indeed. Oh, Necromus with a dark stabby stab. Our jet dragon being trapped in ice. Okay, with this, I maintain distance from the two of them. I'm gonna work on killing Necromus first. Even with his 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Palladius is distracted by my pal. I'm gonna focus on this guy. And my pal is pretty safe, hiding in between trees. And I don't think their attacks can reach it. But for now, let's shower Necromos with bullets. With 800 bullets left, I think I can deal with both of them. Alright, headshotting them deals 35. And yeah, let's just keep... Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I throw the spear down? I don't think I can catch them. I don't think I can afford to catch it. But I can try later with Palladius. But for now, Necromus, you're, you're dead to me now. Okay, Jet Dragon is ready to fight. And it's not fighting. It's doing this crazy weird dancing thing around the enemies. It is encircling them. It's a dumb dragon. But I love this dumb dragon. He doesn't have a trait of being dumb. But I'm not sure what he's doing. Attack this guy. Help me out here. But still, you're my favorite dragon. Let's fight this guy I, I really do hope they don't regenerate when they run like this. Oh, our dragon is attacking, but it can't reach. But it did damage to Palladius, though. I'm happy for that. Okay, keep Palladius busy while I kill Necromus. And he's almost gone. He's almost dead. 600 bullets left. We got this. Alright. And yeah, he's dead. Okay, one more. Only Palladius left. We got this. It should be easier now. Now that it's only one versus two. <laughs> it was two versus two earlier. But now one versus one. He's probably we're gonna cheese him to death. Alright, Jet Dragon is already doing his job well. And a bit more, we kill this Palladius. Alright. Right, just a few more HP left. I'll try catching this guy, but we only have 23 Hyper Spear, not even the Ultra Spear. But yeah. Oh wait, what the hell? No, it died. But it did drop us some um, Pal Metal Ingots. About 60 of them. It's pretty nice. And we got a Cold Resistant Pal Metal Armor Schematic, a Legendary Armor. That's great. Let's go. Alright, so I crafted myself the PAL Metal set. The armor, the helmet, and it looks pretty cool. Look at this. Look at me. Look, it looks high tech. <laughs> so yeah, for the next following days in the game, I didn't really record it since I was just farming Jet Dragon for pure quartz. I mostly just AFK that base every time I killed it. And wait for a day to pass. And about, I don't know, maybe 8, 9, pan jet dragons long. I eventually had enough materials to craft the missile. And since I didn't have the bigger machine, it actually took quite a while to craft this. So I decided to just AFK again and have my pal craft it for me. And finally, I finished crafting the saddle. And look at how fast the jet dragon is oh my god this was our ultimate goal in this game now i can travel much faster and look for those capturing effigies increases our chance to capture and look at our skills we have we also have missiles it's the saddle we fire missiles it's pretty strong so I tested it out on a random Mamoras near the base. And well, the aim is honestly kind of off. It was hard to aim the, its attack. I'm not sure why. But oh my god, half HP in one skill. So let me try the missile. It's really hard to see because all I see is my butt. But yeah, it's, it's the, the, the most important part of this is that I can ride the jet dragon and he's really fast. It makes exploring very fast. So I made a second floor on my base as I needed a place to put all my assembly productions. So yeah, this would be a good place for it. I crafted a Lily's Spear. I wanted to try if it's, it was good. And so, boom. 14k. Pretty decent. Similar to the Greatsword. I tried exploring the icy mountains to look for the horse legendary the frost mount i believe but 
it was too cold for me. I totally forgot to record my fight with a frost, main frost line or something. But yeah, I tried going to this island with a tree, but there's a red wall blocking my way and I don't think I can go inside. I think this is for future content. So yeah, now back to the legendary. It's called the frost stallion actually. And let's see if we can catch this with our hyper <laughs> spear. I don't think we can, but I, I, I still believe. Yeah, they're tripping a lot of its HP. I'm gonna try 2%. We really need that ultra spear. But uh, I'll keep trying until I actually catch this thing. Or we can just kill it and move on and then make the ultra spear. But it can't hurt to try. It might work, you know. We're lucky, two percent lucky. And yeah, I don't think so. I'm just wasting my spear here. Right. Also, there was a cave here that housed the King Alpaca. Or the Ice King Alpaca. It wasn't really hard to kill as he was not a legend. It's just a normal elite monster. Oh yeah. I needed to farm the Jet Dragon in order to get more circuit board. Or the pure quartz. So I can make an electrical... Uh, electrical furnace. So I can make the Palingot Metal. So we can make the ultimate spears. So it's a lot of grinding to do. So it took like about a few days before I can actually got get everything i still have some pal ingots i mean pal metal ingot remaining from defeating those legendary knight horses so i'm gonna craft this five pieces should be good enough to try and catch one of the legendaries i initiated the fight with a prostallion once again hoping i can catch this this time with my five spears okay let's do it let's believe in our luck 18% Ah Okay, one more time I still have three more Alright Okay, we got this We have still have two more Two more chances Last chance Oh my god, this is horrible 19% Alright, die I decided to farm the Palladius and Necromos since killing them they give about 30 ingots the pal iron ingots so yeah they, they were a good source of those ingots so killing them would be making a uh, easier time in crafting those so I dealt with Palladius first taking its Pal iron ingots. I mean pal metal ingots, my bad. I was wondering why my jet dragon came for me. So I look at the area where he came from and he actually defeated the boss all by himself. That's crazy. Damn. What I'm actually doing now is just farming these bosses to get them or materials. But sure, I, I don't mind actually. But it would have been better if there was a quar ore. Or I mean quartz stone where we can mine crafted about six legendary spears also finally made the electric furnace now i can make some pal metal ingot and it was actually way easier than making the iron i mean refined iron ingots because this one only needs palladium fragments instead of coal palladium fragments are more widely available even near my base there's a lot of them and compared to coal so this was a game changer for making the ultimate, I mean the legendary spears. But yeah, it takes a while before they are crafted. I decided to go to a dungeon near the Mount Obsidian. Uh, this is the Volcanic Cavern, a level 40 dungeon. And usually in the dungeon you get, there's this big palladium ores where you can mine palladium fairly easily. And also if you defeat the dungeon boss, it would give like, technical points and also some schematics so that was what, what i was looking for inside this dungeon 
I found the end of the dungeon and a cognito, an elite cognito was guarding the base. It was uh, fairly easy to deal with since it was just level 38 and wasn't really one of those legendary monsters. So we just needed to pump two shotgun shots and it's dead. Now all we need to do is claim the chest inside the dungeon. And this chest had the technical manual and a refined metal helmet schematic. Pretty useful. I wanted a weapon though. On the very top left of the map, I found this island where it had so many treasure chests. It contained like accessories, some schematics, and the monsters inside were elites, like level 40 monsters. So yeah, I, I recently discovered there was actually a pump action shotgun and it held like 8 bullets. So I didn't need to reload that much. I can just shoot like 8 times, pump it up. Alright, so I have a 6 legendary spear on hand and I wanted to try again. See if I can actually catch this frost stallion this time. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's go. First ball. Oh my god. Second ball. Please? Please? Yes! We got the second legendary Frostalion. Let's go. The metal ingot production is not really fast. So we, I gotta wait for this. So preparation must be done before we fight those knight knights again. Palladius and Necromancers. I don't remember their names. So while waiting for those metals to actually be done, I just explored around with my jet dragon looking for effigies hopefully it will increase my odds of catching them as i level up my level for this effigy the lift monk totally forgetting to mention i crafted a rare handgun i got the schematic somewhere along the islands i believe so yeah now i have like 300 extra ammo on our handgun it was two times the damage as the assault rifle but it's not as fast as the assault rifle but still it's better than a musket or a one-shot rifle so yeah the farming continues for a while as we needed more materials and after much preparation i decided it was time to try if we can catch these legendaries necromus and palladius i dealt with necromus first as he kept always keeps charging in my face so yeah i isolated him from palladius and started trying to catch him we had 8 legendary spears and hopefully it was not enough. <laughs> Alright, hopefully. Yeah. Let's go. One more. Uh, okay, one more try. Please. Spin. Spin. No. Come on, I still have the Pelagius to cut. Oh my god, this thing is wasting all my spears. Okay, this time for sure. Oh my! Oh my god. Alright, two more chances if this fails. And we got it! Okay, that's Necromus. Pelagius left. Alright, let me pump more of my shotgun in his face. Just handgun it to tickle him away. And with his remaining HP, let's try this. Oh my god, we failed instantly. We still have our hyper spears. If this doesn't work. And yes, we can't caught him with our last legendary spear. Let's go. So yeah, I've caught the four legendaries. I'm not sure if the Shadow Beak is a legendary. But I'm pretty sure these four are the only legendaries in the game. So we've caught everything now. All that's left is... I always wanted to catch the Anobis. So I'm gonna go for that. Let me make more of the ultimate spears then we'll catch anobis i was trying my luck on the wildlife sanctuary uh, supposedly a shadow beak would spawn here but i wasn't that lucky because nothing spawned here aside from other mod pals and i sure why they always keep saying criminal activity when i'm here i'm not criminal all right i believe i crafted enough legendary spears i'm gonna take on anubis with our missiles <laughs> This guy it was in our mercy. I just spammed the missile. Not everything hits, but it still dealt a 
decent amount of damage. Oh my god. Our dragon is so strong. And the flame is not that great. I gotta change the skill set. So yeah, Anobis is left with almost about one half of each HP or lower. And our new knight pet. Oh my god, he almost killed Anobis. So I'm gonna call them back. So, so I'm gonna chip away with my pistol now. And oh, wrong, wrong spear. Okay, legendary spear. 12. Surely it'll just get. No, one more. Surely it will get caught now. It has 31%. Bigger than the other experience. <laughs> Alright, we got the Anobis. Let's go. <laughs> So we caught all the legendaries and also Anubis. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this 100 day video. And hope you enjoyed. Honestly, it was fun. It actually took a lot of my time. It was honestly fun to catch race pal but my ultimate goal was the jet dragon as you see very op very fast i can travel the entire map in a matter of seconds i was here and now i'm here so this jet dragon was very amazing thank you again for watching this video bye bye